Okay, we're placing full charge. When it's on six amps, that's the scale you're working on. And when it's on set to two amps, it still says it has quite a bit to go. When it's cold out, like in the winter, I like to leave it on six amp until the battery is at least warm, so it can better take the charge. And then I turn it down. When this gets real low, now you know you've, you've trickled it together. And uh, <coughs> that's the next project. The problem is it needs hundreds of dollars of engine parts more than that old girl but I'd rather get a dead-end car going first than one that's still going so this might have to be my workhorse longer before I get to put all the sweet parts in it that I bought because I need another vehicle first one two three four welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel Autobotter.com. All right, we'll start. No, it has enough power to light up fully now. Wow, almost 200,000 miles. I remember it having a lot less than that. Yeah, at least all the electronics are alive, so we're getting closer. This battery may not be able to charge up enough. It should be close enough now, but it doesn't look like it. Well, you can see how much longer it's been since I tried last time getting the vehicle starting after sitting. Well, now it's going to take even longer. It doesn't go anywhere when you misplace the key. But let me show you where that uh, battery's at after charging most of the day. I had uh, taken the charger off. You don't want the charger on unless you're actually charging. Probably shouldn't have leafs in there. Whatever. It's like I said, typically when I leave it on two amps, as it draws down closer and closer to. Let's get some glare off. There you go. Like I said before, when you have it set to six amps, which I'm not, I'm set at two amps on 12 volts. This also has a 6 amp setting. Um, the, how much the charger is receiving is important. Okay? Or how much the battery is taking. The lower this gets, the closer that battery is to being nicely charged up. So it's coming along. It's, it's about done. It was sitting close to 2 amps just before I, I messed with it. And now it's blowing amp that the battery is actually taking. So normally speaking, I'd say this would be a win and a car would start. I just, I don't really even care to start. Okay, I just want this, to point, this point's ending in the point just fine. Those little interior lights you saw inside that lit me away in the car real nice, that has just a few moments of that and the battery's sucking down tons of energy again. So basically all I can get into it is a service charge. So, surprise, surprise, a Walmart battery has gone bad just because it sat around for a little bit. Not even that long, alright? They uh, usually, if you see really crusty, horrible cables, it's because it was a Walmart battery. I know people are just trying to save money, but it's the wrong place to save money. Anyway, uh, you can kind of tease the charger back and forth. Hit it with six amps. Look, 50%. I mean, I know it comes down a little bit as surface charge kind of builds and fakes out that it's got a lot of charge left to do, but I'm just wasting my time. This battery, even if I can get it to run the car, at best it's an emergency battery because it's going to crap out any time it feels like when it's behaving like this on the charger. Charging all day here, an hour or so here, and it's down to 50% again just because I walked in the door and even tried to turn it on. It, it would be a better example if I had the key to prove my point. If the car started once but couldn't start a second time, but whatever. This battery's done, so that's where I gotta work on next. Mm -hmm. Granted, I have an engine rebuild first, but I need to get keep oil through it with such wet conditions. Mm -hmm. You can see the corrosion on the outside mm -hmm. is not something mm -hmm. I want on the inside. 